Good morning, everyone. This is a two-part video series on how to create patent drawings for your provisional patent application. Patent drawings are essentially black and white line drawings that are required under patent law to show the unique features of your invention. And what I mean by that is when you write your patent claims, which we'll talk about in another video, you're going to be defining what the unique features of your invention are. And you need to be able to show those unique features in your patent drawings. And so on the right hand side here, I have one of my favorite examples when I'm giving a, my talk to the, the college kids here at the university. Um, they love to see the beer umbrella example. And so this is a great drawing that just shows really simply what the unique features of this beer umbrella are and of course you have the beer but that's not the unique part of it it's this umbrella feature with this unique clip and attachment and those features are all shown very clearly and then you can't see it in this video but they have a little line pointing to the each feature with a number next to it and those numbers will be used when we write our detailed description and our specification and we'll show and we'll call out those numbers and say what they are so for example number one up here is just pointing to this umbrella so we'll define that as the umbrella or the beer umbrella when we're writing our specification and we'll use the number one there to show show that that is number one or the first feature the nice thing about provisional patent applications is that formal drawings are not required so there's a whole stack of rules and guidelines that you have to follow when you file formal drawings and they include things like the margin size the actual width of the lines for your drawing the type of paper you can use a whole a whole assortment of rules you have to follow but for provisional patent applications you don't need to follow those formal requirements because no one at the patent office is actually going to look at your drawings and tell you whether or not they meet the requirements so you don't have to file formal drawings with a provisional but you should at least try to file a couple very simple drawings that either you create yourself or you pay a patent draft person to do that shows what the unique features of your invention are my little piece of advice here is that if you do have the extra money right now um, paying a drafts person anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars per drawing is actually going to be a very good investment for two reasons one you'll have to pay this money eventually so you might as well pay it now because when you have those formal drawings now it kind of adds some value and adds some credibility to your provisional patent application so if you're presenting it to investors um, you know it just looks like a more of a professional application uh, if you have these formal drawings done I've even seen uh, some inventors they're so happy with the drawings and the way they look they would put them into their PowerPoint slides and presentations when they're uh, going out and speaking about their invention so I think you get a lot of value for your money here um, but if you are in a tight tight budget I'll show you how you can do your own um, drawings yourself um, as I said drawings are okay for provisional patent applications um, I usually use Microsoft Paint I'm not an artist uh, I, I don't really have any fancy drawing programs so I'll use whatever is free you know with my computer uh, software patents are even easier because you can't really draw a software application uh, for a software patent you'll be making a flowchart that shows each and every step or unique step that your software process does and I'll show you how to do that um, or, or at least show you some examples on, on how to do that if your invention is very complex if it's a mechanical invention with lots of uh, moving parts and pieces um, you, you may have to invest in some CAD software or hopefully you uh, are able to create those type images um, you know chances are if you're inventing in that space you're you're doing mechanical type inventions you probably ha already have the tools and the software uh, to make those black and white line, line drawings uh, using your program and just use those as your um, provisional patent drawings so in the second video we're going to go over some examples and actually show you really quickly how to do a patent drawing